Hi guys, it's me Kalina and welcome back to Kalina's Corner. So today I'm going to be reviewing the book Kira Kira written by Cynthia Kato Hada Hada. And this book was won the Newbery Award in 2005. So this book was about a Japanese American family living in Georgia. So this book was narrated by the main character Katie, who's the middle child of this Japanese American family. So one of the things I loved about this book is that it really got me passionate and engaged about the book because I finished it in two hours, one day. Like, I once I started reading it, I couldn't put it down. And also, I cried during the book during while I was reading it. And for me, that's a good thing because the author got me so passionate about this book and made me feel something to the point where I started crying. That's For me, that's a sign that it is an amazing book because I don't cry that often. Um, I also liked how it gave an interesting perspective because while, while I'm the oldest child um, in my family, I could relate on how having a younger brother, you want to be the best sibling you can be for them, right? Because, but because she was the middle child, she got that, plus since she was the younger sibling to her sister, she also felt that she was in, always in the shadow of her older sister. So she got both sides, which I thought was really interesting, gave a really cool, pers a really cool perspective. So some of the things I didn't like about the book is that there was some cursing involved, like four times I think. But, if I'm being honest, it didn't bother me because that's how they express themselves. So if that's how they feel they need to express themselves, then that's fine. You can express yourself the way you want to. That doesn't have to do with how I express myself. But I could see for how some people that wouldn't be okay. And plus, this is a ch children's book, so it shouldn't be included in there anyway, right? Um, another thing was that there was some adult concepts in there, which, I mean, I'm not gonna go into detail about what it said or whatever, but it was definitely something that, well, I wouldn't want my younger siblings reading. And I also think it was kinda not okay for a Newbery Award, which is for children, it's, it's a, an amazing contribution to children's literature for that year. So I think it should have been more child appropriate, which is why I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of five torches, because as much as I loved it and I thought it was an amazing book, those two things were pretty bad. That's why I couldn't give it a five, which I would have loved to give it a five, but you know, what can you do? Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I do recommend that you read the book, Kira Kira. Um, so yeah, hit the notification bell, make sure to like and subscribe, bye!